Hello everybody and welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. In our previous episode, we had the reunion of Ruby and Aurora, our Arbalist, and our Musketeer. We also had Mary, we had our Dark Wraith Willow, we had um, Eon, our Cataphrac, and we also had our Ermine Seeker, we had a few others, and everyone started to uh, come together and honestly we had we had some good times unfortunately we missed out on doing a medium exploration by just a touch by just a little bit of money so that was a little bit of a shame i have since installed uh one new character i believe and one new mod the mod itself is pretty brilliant i wanted to go over this kind of out of character before we get into the game and start our roleplay session um this mod I believe is called Mash Variety Project, and what it does is it's an AI that was built to generate team compositions for enemies, and it can generate over 330,000 different combinations. Now, to achieve that, there is a lot of behind the scenes stuff going on. One of the things I've noticed so far already in my testing is some enemies can now, can appear outside of their normal environments now it's not too it's not like too too common but it can happen but it does it just means we're going to have so much more variety with who we fight and where and, and it's just going to add so much depth to combat but it's also going to add some difficulties to combat now i hope it isn't too much difficulty but it is going to be uh, interesting to see how that plays out but we're going to jump on in here and take a look at our new characters that we uh, picked up that joined the crew in the end of the last episode here we are in the Cursed Estate. Now, um, we do have a little bit of an issue that may be gleaming this episode, in fact. We actually have a very limited roster size, and we don't have enough to upgrade to the next one, and we're quite a ways off our next one, actually. Uh, we're going to be able to get up to around 45 at our max roster size, but I think there may be a few episodes where we just don't take on as many new people as we would otherwise, and we just kind of play with the people that we have, which I'm pretty happy with. I think we've got a pretty diverse group so far. Um, the only thing I really need is more healers. But here's our three that we've got. We've got a Ronin, a Lamia, and a Mitre, and our Ronin is Kronos, and this is by Soft Roll. Having worked in the pre prestigious... Hatano guard of the Great Plateau, he met his fair share of women in his life. Many fought with each other for a chance to be with him, but none were as charming as Yatsu. It was love at first sight, and he decided to spend the rest of his life with her, but little did he know of the secrets she hid. On a chilly evening where a ceremony was to be held, he returned home after a tiring day at work to find his wife missing. Yatsu, are you here? He screamed, but there was no response. This was very, very unusual for her. He thought to look for her in the festival grounds, but as soon as he touched the doorknob, he felt a fingertip on his shoulder, or perhaps a claw. He immediately pulled out his katana out of instinct, and he looked behind him to find his wife has manifested claws for fingers and jagged fangs where her teeth used to be. She swung for his chest, but he blocked it in time and escaped swiftly through an unlatched window. No one has ever seen him from that day, and some assumed he was killed. It was the exact opposite. He travelled to the darkest dungeon in search of what could cure his beloved wife. He's not sure about anything, but he will do whatever he can to set his wife free of the curse, and to do that, he must venture into the darkest dungeon. Now that's a brilliant story and we'll actually see that tie into another character's backstory as we progress here. So we'll um we'll see about that. We'll see if that ends up becoming um be becoming more relevant if we take on that character. I'm not going to spoil any more details about that though because I think it'll be a nice surprise when she joins especially for Kronos. Now let's move on to our next one. Here we have our Lamia Artemis, and this is written by a new person that's just recently joined the Discord and done quite a lot of writing, called DB Fan. Born to nobles, Artemis was always obsessed with her beauty, always wearing extravagant clothes, wearing the finest perfumes, and never seen without makeup on. Anything that complemented her natural beauty. Though she had many suitors, all eventually left her after seeing her rotten and narcissistic personality. But that was fine, as she was still beautiful. 
But as she got older and her beauty left her, she spent extravagant amounts of money on cure-alls cure -alls and snake oil that promised to make her look young and more beautiful. The more it didn't work, the more desperate she became, until eventually she got word of an ancient ritual that would restore her beauty at a terrible cost. She didn't care and went through with the ritual without a thought, sacrificing an innocent woman and gaining her beauty, but at a terrible price. The ritual cursed her forever to be what she truly was, a horrid, ugly monster with a veil of beauty. Nothing could quell Artemis' rage, until she heard of a far-off hamlet full of occult knowledge and rituals. She thought maybe, just maybe, there would be something there that could let her forget, uh, forever keep her beauty and get rid of the curse. And she'll do anything to make sure of it. Lying, manipulating, and if it comes to it, using her curse to her advantage. Now, we will see just what it talks about here. You can see her curse and her beauty. Really good backstory. It fits so, so well. And as I said, for a new writer, DB fan, I'm really, really happy to have you on board. Uh, some great backstories there. Let's move on to our last new person. Lastly, we have our mitre, Armorous. And this backstory was written by Softroll. Armorous, coming from a background of religious family, sees many sins in the world and had always felt it was his mistake, so he would hide from his family for days and harm himself to make up for all the sins he thought he put upon the world. Shackled with the tools of harm and the, consu and the consuming thoughts of his mind and religion, he travelled to the dungeon where it was rumoured it contained all horrific sins and made it his job to cleanse whatever sins are left in there. So that is a really good one as well. This guy basically puts himself in pain in order to help others, and that goes so well with his abilities. Like, we'll see as we play him, he has some insanely, insanely good ability to to both stress heal and regular heal. He, he, is, he is definitely one of my favourites to play, so we're definitely going to be playing him quite a lot. Uh, so let's... Um, Let's go in and see what we want to do. So we're going to be wanting to try and get enough to upgrade our stagecoach here. I might look at maybe getting mods to expand our roster if you guys would rather me just expand the roster and not have to faff around with that and make sure we can get new characters. Or if you guys would rather me keep what I'm, keep with what I'm doing now and we use the characters we have. If we don't manage to take on new people until people die or until we get enough to upgrade then so be it and just play that way it's really up to you guys but i think here one of the things we're going to want to be doing is try and go for a medium exploration if we can find one um let's have a little look what we've got going on here um i really want to get a good um oh that's very nice that's very nice indeed. That would really, really, really help out um, our Arbalist Aurora here. Um, so that, that could be a definite good choice there. Um, and we also have a Slayer one. We don't actually have a Slayer yet. I think, I think it's probably going to be best that we go to the Warrens and we try to upgrade that there. So let's actually take two of our new people here at least. Um... I'm going to take both of these. I think they are both fine in either spot. Let me just check. It does seem that he's going to be better in the um, in the front slot there. And we could actually probably take our um, our Ronin Kronos here. Let's have a little look-see. Ooh, so he has some interesting abilities here. Um... We'd mainly be using Flashing Blade, as that's going to buff himself with damage and dodge. We've got Swift Cuts, which seems to be pretty decent, but it would seem that that's a pretty huge self-debuff. We've also got this as well, which is going to be... Um, it's going to be Bleed Chance. Um, it's going to debuff himself again quite a lot. It's actually going to be kind of difficult to use, um, to use our Ronin here. I do think... That maybe he's not going to be the best for a medium exploration. We might need someone that's a little more uh, prepared. Maybe we could go with with Leo. Um, we haven't used Leo much yet, and he's he's very nice as he's able to do a lot of blight and stunning. I quite like that. So we'll maybe go with um, go with Leo here, and then who else could we take? Who else could we take? We do have Rune here. Rune's really, really useful. Um, in fact, before we do that, should we maybe upgrade Rune a little bit? We have used Rune a, a lot, though, haven't we? Um, 
Trying to think who else would be the best to take with us here in a frontline spot. No, I think, I think honestly, Rune is going to be really good for us here. So let's just quickly go back and we'll make sure Rune is uh, upgraded. Mainly on his healing ability and his other ability there. Um, we're not going to be using that one too much, so we won't bother upgrading that yet. And we want to upgrade his, uh, his arms. There you go. And I think that should leave us with enough money. So let's make sure we're on the right adventure, this one here. And let's bring Rune. So we're going in with Rune. Going in with Leo. Going with our new mate, our Armorous. And our Lamia Artemis. Very similar names, actually. I never noticed that. Uh, but this should be a pretty good group. Because here we've got two very strong um, healers slash stress healers. Then we've also got a guy that's got heal and self-stress heal. Along with mainly we're going to be using his stun and his blight. Although I do believe the Warrens... Blight might not be as useful. We'll see. Uh, and then we've also got some healing along with a nice bit of um, synergy with um, with Leo here and his stun ability. So that should be quite fun. Um, let's have a look at our provisions. We're going to want at least 16 food. Maybe four of those. Two of each of these. And we'll take 16 of these. And that should be more than enough, I should presume. Let's embark in, and we do have another diary entry here. This one is written by Unstable Strafe, and this is for Sixth, our Beastmaster. This is the person that was um, controlled by the hag and lived out in the wilderness and lost his mind. Thoughts? Return? Thinking? Again? The entry is scrawled onto a piece of rough leather in what looks like a crude berry pigment. Now, this is a very interesting little diary entry here. What um, Unstable Strafe's actually done is, obviously, um, she wrote the backstory for Sixth, and he's going to be building up as we as we go and as we as we get closer and closer to finding what he wants. So we've got to complete 100% of room battles here, so this could be quite difficult. But I think we're prepped. I think we're ready. We've got a trap here. We've got 70, 50, 55. Okay, let's go with you. Unfortunately, straight away we take some trap damage. Not good. Not good. First battle here, though. We've got a new enemy. We've got a stress dealer in the back line. We'll see if we can take him out. Um, let's actually go for what could be a quite a good combo here. Unfortunately, he resisted straight away, which does not help. Um... So, let's have a look at our Lamia here. So, we have the ability to heal. We have the ability to um, do some stress healing and clear horror, which is really nice. And we also have the ability to change over, which would change into beast mode. It would increase our dodge and speed, but it would give everyone else some horror, some stress over rounds. We've also got a lure here, which... Um, is going to be something that allows us to pull, and it also means that they can't be guarded, and also breaks guard. It also maybe even debuffs by 12 dodge. That could be really good. Let's go with you and try and pull you forward, shall we? So that's going to be... That's very, very strong. That's very strong indeed. Um, let's get a repost going here. So here, he can actually um, activate repost on himself and basically buff himself with um extra death blow resist i find this one of his best skills it's a very very good aoe stress heal sadly we don't have the ability to do the um to to do the attack where we try and stun everyone we'll just smack this guy in the front line here do a decent amount of damage we'll probably take a little bit of stress here vampiric vampiric spirits is not a good one to take right off the bat here let's have a little look at what that does when we get the chance Okay, everyone's, everyone's doing okay so far, but as you can see, the repost heals everyone on repost and de-stresses on repost. That is double stress for our Lamia Artemis here, which isn't great. Um, hmm. Let's blight you two. Let's get a stress heal on, on you, and that's also going to give us a chance to stress heal ourselves as well. It's only four, but it does stack up. Hmm, okay. We've got a bit of bleed on us there. It's only three points of bleed, though, so don't worry about that. Leo, he's bleeding as well. So, you can actually just keep using the repose, and I usually do that, because it keeps it going for longer, but it also ups our death blow resist, which is really, really nice. We'll finish you off. In fact, I probably shouldn't have done that, considering the blight probably would have killed him. We'll keep our stress healing going. 
Make sure everyone's de-stressed. That's a that's been a big thing for us. We've we've been we've been doing bad for uh, stress, so getting that going is gonna be very very nice. Okay, no bleed. Damn it, he's got a lot of bleed in him right now. We'll use that next bandage. We'll stun you out. We've only got a twenty five percent stun resist, so that shouldn't be too bad. And then we've got a guaranteed crit against this guy as long as we hit. Beautiful. We really should be focusing the stress dealers. Uh, that is very true. But unfortunately, I wasn't able to do that there. Um. Let me actually check something. We might want to actually swap the position of these two. Because I believe if he's up front, he can use this attack as well. Which is going to give us some self-healing. It's also going to deal good damage. Pretty good damage, actually. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll swap these two around after the next battle. Um, so... Let's just keep, let's just keep on with this. But the good thing is, as you can see, we're getting a lot of crits with it because it hits everyone pretty much every time. Um, you have 10% stun resist. Let's stun you then, shall we? And the good thing is, if we can manage to pull, up, pull off a crit before that guy gets uh, out of his stun, ooh, unfortunately, a big crit there, then we can actually be in a really, really good spot. But unfortunately, he did manage to pull out that stun there. We'll go for a heal. We've actually got a really, really nice combo that I didn't even think about here. So I'll actually kind of show this off in a moment. Let's uh, get this going again. Everyone heals up a little bit. I like the fact that everyone's got a heal in this pie. It's really nice. So this cures Blight and Bleed. And if we look at one of his abilities, he can heal for 4 to 13, but it puts Blight and Bleed on himself. So we can use those in combination to, to do some extra healing there, which is really nice. Get a bit of healing on you. Um, get some Blight on you. We can't really do much to him while there's bodies there, so let's just go for a heal here. We can't actually do any damage right now. Not great, but oh, look at the stress healing. We're getting our stress so low. But there you go. The body's gone now. Um, everyone's looking good for HP, so let's just do some stress healing. And we'll stun you out. Yeah, that'll work. And we should be able to finish you off with rune. The combination between, between our uh, mitre... And Rune is so good. Rune and... Um, and what's her name? Aram Amaris is just working so well together. We got ourselves um, debuff resist. If we have a look here, we actually took on minus 50 debuff resist, which is a real pain, but we're actually uh, we're just going to have to deal with that. We'll open this up. A little bit of extra money. Scouting here is very nice. Um... We'll go this way because we've got two. It means we've got two curios that we can take without worrying. Very nice. Let's have a look at this. My fears are confirmed. Without our torch, doused by an inerrant spray of seawater, we were ambushed. Strange fist-like humanoids ambushed us in the sunken darkness. The pitch of the torch caught quickly, and I glim uh, glimpsed scaly appendages swung crude weapons. Glistened and barbed. Glistening and barbed. They didn't last long with our torch rekindled. Alas, one bit me on the neck before I gutted it. The wound stings and tingles strangely. Our physic told me to keep it cleaned and covered. Okay, so that's that's an entry from the curve there. So now we can go back this way. I tried to get those two extra um two extra curios. Cause we might as well. Got to remember to camp at some point as well. Don't need to do that yet. We'll probably camp around here. We'll see how that goes. Oh, no. I didn't see that trap at all. Thank God we dodged it. I did not see that at all. Uh, right. Got this. It should give us a buff. 30% damage. That's not good. I didn't realize we would get any damage buff off of her. Bit of a waste there. We'll make sure our torch is full heading into this battle here. And we've, of course, taken some stress immediately. And the chance of some disease as well, but we did resist it. Uh, let's go for immediate blight. Okay, these guys have high blight resist. There's not much point in doing that. Let's go for stun then. These guys actually have really high stun resist as well. Let's try you. That's a nice stun on you. Rune should be able to take care of him very easily. Heal you up. Okay, we are taking a little bit of blight here. Unfortunately, he did uh, he did pass by his stun. Let's just take a strike on you then. And get our uh, healing repost going. Because it's just so good. And the death blow resist is so nice too. 
Let's make sure you're healed up fully. Everyone's got pretty good HP here as well. This group is really nice. Thank you for that, Artemis. Um, sadly, we've actually not got a lot to do here. So if we change, other heroes are going to gain stress, but we are going to change to beast mode and get uh, extra damage. We're also going to heal a little bit. And in our other mode, we can um, deal a bit of extra damage. We can also do a rage, which is going to just deal damage as well. And we've got slam as well. Let's do that, shall we? Let's transform here. Everyone's going to take a bit of stress, but we can deal with it. And let's go rake to finish that front guy off and do a bit of damage to the other as well. Um, yeah, we'll probably, we'll probably be able to finish this guy off within a turn or two here. He's taking on a lot of blight, but it's fine. Ooh, that was a harsh, harsh crit right there. That was, that was very, very bad. Um... Let's have a look. I think we're going to keep going with the repost. Just because it's so... Like I said, it's, it's, it's his main move for me, at least. I use it all the time. Um, we are going to be taking on a, quite a bit of stress here, I think. Um, let's go for this and try and get the body out of the way. Not quite. Um, and let's heal you. And also, we'll be taking away that bleed as well, which is nice. Another crit. Can you stop? We, we all got crit, um, crit stress heal there, though, which is really nice. Let's do a full heal. Oh, that's a beautiful, beautiful crit on you. Um, and yeah, let's keep going with the repost. I like to just completely stack up all the death blow resist on him because he he can't heal himself really. Uh, let's do some stress healing on you. And rage on you. That's very nice damage. Take a bit of extra blight there. Don't worry though, we can keep we can keep going on this. I think it's going to work fine. Um, take out this body, get everyone a bit closer. And don't th the good thing is, no, because we've been using our um, repost so much, no one else really needs help. Do that. Okay, we're gonna take a lot of stress here. Even more disease, which isn't great. Hmm. And let's uh, let's let's finish off. Let's finish off you. Oh, I missed the one that was actually. Oh my god, that was annoying. Do a stress heal on you again. Okay, yeah, nice. We, we keep getting blight stacked up on him, but I think it's okay. Finish you off. Rune is very accurate today. We've been having problems with Rune lately, but he's doing fine today. Strike on you. More stress heal. Our healers are really going to be getting stressed in the back line there, so we need to be careful of that. You, another big crit. Oh my god. Aramis is just doing so well. So, so well. And all the stress heals. It's, it's, oh, it's just beautiful today. We're just, we've got such a good composition right now. We are taking on stress as we go here and chance at disease, but it's just how we've got to play this, unfortunately. And there you go. That went so well. Okay. Let's just take a little look at the diseases we took on there. I think Leo took on a disease, didn't he? Um, minus 20 accuracy of stress is above 70. Honestly, very rarely going to matter. So I'm, I'm happy with that. Let's go this way. Make sure we've got Rune picking things up. Because if, if we want anyone to have a damage buff, it's him. Uh, we've got another food check here. We'll move around. I think we'll, I think we'll camp at this room here. No combat. More portraits. Another trap, but another dodge. Very nice that everyone's getting the trap dodges right now. Okay. Let's move here. Oh, no, there's combat. No, I was going to try and do something else there, but that didn't work. Okay, it's fine, it's fine. Okay. Good dodge on rune. Good dodge on rune. A little bit of a cut. Everyone loves Amorous. Everyone loves Amorous right now. Right, what's our stun resists here? Very low. Let's stun you in the front line. Got to remember. Oh, of course. Of course. You've got to remember as well that even if we're uh, getting a crit with rune, maybe over the top in terms of damage, crits always heal and they give you a buff. So they're very worth doing when you can. Very worth it. 
Uh, let's just go for a heal on you now. Only three, but it'll do. Stun you out, and a crit as well. Beautiful. I need to get 20% extra damage because of that crit. That's beautiful. Oh, these guys crit hard and a lot. We're going to notice that coming hot and heavy. Um, since that guy hasn't stunned anymore, let's go for a heal. Amaris is just taking on the crits like crazy. She's absolutely brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Well, this is just like probably one of our best groups we've had. Um... We're not going to be dealing much of that, so let's just go for the Blight. We've got to resist on one of them there, but I think we're fine. Let's get Leo healed up a little bit. Leo's not got that much health, so he's going to be taking on a little more damage. And there's another huge crit. Oh, my God. Amorous, why does everyone hate you so much? Why does everyone hate you so much? We haven't had even a, a chance to use his big heal yet, but we just haven't needed to. Amorous's big heal is so good. Okay, we did get swapped there. I think that's because of, um... Yeah, always sticks close to the exit. Basically, he has a chance to just switch to a back position. But that's fine. I'm happy with that. We wanted to change around like this anyways, didn't we? We'll probably finish you off with this. Nice. Um, let's just do a bit of stress healing there. Get a body out the way, shall we? So now we can use this. This is actually going to heal ourselves. It's going to deal extra damage to Unholy, which I don't think these class has. These class is human and beast. Um, but if we could get um, against some Unholy with this guy, it's going to be really good. We'll just use this for now for a crit and an extra heal. Beautiful. Um, yeah, let's de-stress. Everyone's looking pretty healthy right now. You are easy to stun, so we'll stun you. And then going for a final crit, I think. Oh, no, he got his move first. Don't worry about it, though. Wow. This is going well. Uh, plus 10 accuracy, range, skill, minus 2 dodge. That. We basically have our Arbalest Aurora set with these two objects. Extra 10 accuracy and extra healing for this reward. It's going to be so good. Let's move our way through. Enter here. And let's camp. Right, we'll eat full to get our stress relieved and everyone healed up. Right, now we have some decisions to make. Of course, here we um, we have 12 respite and we can spend that on whatever we want. Some people have their own specific ones, some, some of them are general ones. Let's go from Rune first. So Rune has, for two, he can get armor piercing protection. For three, he can increase his stun chance and increase everyone's damage to enemies that are stunned. And he can also do wound care. Uh, here we've got the basics. We've got extra, uh, stress relief. We've got less stress. We've got Shroud of Turton. One companion, if religious gets extra dodge. If not religious gets a bit of dodge. And if religious gets minus 15% stress. That could be very useful. Um, is, it, is there an easy way to know if someone's religious? I, I would assume Artemis is, but I don't actually know. I don't actually know. Uh, Leo here, he's got um, self extra damage. All companions gain stress and self extra speed. Uh, we don't have any prevent night nighttime ambush. We also have resurrection here. Suffers 15% health damage and minus 10 stress, but one companion will heal a lot. <laughs> okay, we don't actually need that. So let's, uh, let's go with some of the basics here. Let's get him some extra speed. You've got... Um, let's go with extra surprise chance. That's going to be useful. Very nice. Um, and let's just use it on you. Plus five dodge. Not he's not religious, but so it's not great, but it'll do. Um, and we'll go with that as well. So we might. My God. <laughs> so we might end up unfortunately getting um. Just do that on you. We might unfortunately get ambushed here because we didn't get any prevent nighttime ambush, but we'll see. Getting ambushed can be quite annoying, but we'll see how it goes. Everyone's asleep now. They're on us. Unfortunately, we got nighttime ambushed. That is going to mess around with everyone's positionings. I'm just going to do this straight away. It's going to be very, very useful for us for this. Um, go with that there. 17! Oh my god. Good golly gosh. 
you are so susceptible to crits. Amorous, I don't know what it is, but you're so susceptible to crits right now, and I love it. Do a bit of damage to you, get a bit of healing going. Do that. These two, I think they, I think these things heal off of us. Oh my god. Stop, leave Amorous alone. These things are deadly. Deadly. Um, let's get everyone healed up. Buff you with uh, extra protection and a bit of stress relief. They both dodge. No, come on, guys. Leave Amaris alone. Oh, my God. Amaris is just taking a beating. And I just don't get it. It's so susceptible to crits. I don't know what that's going to do for us. I just used it because it helps the whole group. Okay, there's one gone. Make sure you're not bleeding anymore. We're going to need to do some stress relief after this. There we go. Everyone's gone. Ooh, that's some good rewards we got for that. Good rewards. Or is it merely trick, trick up the light. I can never remember what we do with this. We burn them, don't we? We got a quirk. Oh, nice. We got a negative quirk removed. I should remember that for next time. Okay. We do have a trap here. 50. Oh, wait. Let's, let's quickly rearrange. I also want you two switched around. Um, I forgot we had that. 20% sun trans and 20% blight skill chance. Nice. Uh, 50, 60, 55, 70. Nice one. Disarmed. Bit of stress relief. No damage taken. Very, very nice indeed. Let's head on in. We do have to go to both of these. Let's go up to this one first. Sadly, got hit by the trap this time. Not much we can do about that. Right. Oh my god, okay. What stun resist do we have here? Pretty high on most of them. I'm going to try this at a 75% chance. Nice. We're going to have to do some serious stress relieval here. Try and get through this. Okay, lovely miss there. Sadly, he got to go first, so we're not going to get to do our wombo combo with Ruin here. I said Ruin there. I meant to say Ruin. Um, let's just activate our repost here. Let's go for a slice on you. We're not going to go for a stun now. What's their blight resist? Blight resist is also very high. Uh, let's just go with a big stress relief. We are going to take that stress straight back, though. In some regards, at least. Yeah, we're going to need to keep we need to keep stress relieving on um, Amaris here. He just gets crit so much. He or she? I think it's a she. She gets crit so much. Finish you off. Nice one, Rune. Nice one. Artemis taking quite a big hit there. People have been pretty much staying away from Artemis here, which has been nice. Let's go for some healing. Um, we can get a stun on you now. Oh, no. A miss. That's actually one of our first misses we've had, really, though. So that's not too bad. Okay. Nice dodge. Okay. Let's go for a group heal here. We need it. More repost. Everyone gets a nice little heal. Nice bit of stress relief. Try uh, another miss. Really? Really? Not a good time for it, Leo. Not a good time for it. It's because I've moved you back a space. Do you not like that? Okay. Keep going. Keep, keeping everyone topped up. Right, you need to go, sir. Rune is coming at you. There we go. We finally hit him. Finally got that stun off. We need to heal um, Amaris up a little bit, really. A little bit low HP, but we'll deal with it. Nope. Oh, my God. Blight me again. Look at that stress relief, though. Look at that stress relief. And you are gone. Good, good, good. 
Try and take care of her body and just get some healing. Oh no, he's gonna move. Don't move, you fool. You fool. Do some stress relief then, I guess. Oh, look how much stress. 53, he's taking it on. I've got to go for the heal, though. He needs healing. Clean clean that bleed. Uh, blight, sorry. Take you out. Rune just does some really good damage. He's been really accurate today as well. I swear last time we played uh, with Rune, he really didn't didn't care for uh, for hitting things. But today, he's really on point. Doing great. Let's move you forward just, just because. Keep going on with the heals. Maybe we'll get some crazy crits again. Get that body out of the way. Pull you one closer. Keep healing up. There you go. You're almost there. You're almost there. Get some nice stun on you and a crit as well. Beautiful. Beautiful. And of course, you got to have his turn first, so we're not going to get to do much here. Um, let's do this and get some extra healing going. Stress healing mainly. I know we'll, they'll call reinforcements in soon, so we can't do this for too long. Drums of Doom. Took that stress straight back. Everyone took a bit, actually. And that'll be it. I think we'll, we'll attack him on the next turn here. There you go. I don't know what this is here. Um, mm, okay, let's get rid of that. It's risky, but we could get rid of our food. We'll, we'll try it, we'll try it. What does this do? Burn altar. Touch it, sir. Wow. We got a lot of stuff from that. <laughs> Happy about that. Ah, oh, God damn it. We got a hunger check. Oh, so we all take a bit of damage. We all take a bit of stress. But even if, even if we hadn't have done that, like we hadn't have thrown away that food, we wouldn't have had enough food anyways. It's like you need at least five, I think it is, to pass those checks. But that is really just poor timing. Now, we have a battle here. Is everyone in the right spaces? Yeah. Oh, that was bad. That was bad. Okay, so only spiders in the surprise as well, which is nice. Um, we don't have high blight resist, so we'll blight them. Stress relief, you you've got to, you've got to take as much as you can. We'll do some heals. Got a crit there. Do a bit of healing on you, and that moved him as well, which is nice. Going to take quite a lot of blight here, most likely. Quite a lot of blight. We should be able to get rid of that with a healing though, if we need to. Leo taking a crit there, and he is marked as well, and he's stunned. Oh god, he got he got kind of taken care of there. Leave Leo alone. Um, sadly, I think we have to heal Leo and get rid of his Blight, otherwise he's going to just take on too much damage. Ah, uh, Mess is taking a little bit there, but she resisted the bleed, uh, the Blight, actually. Very happy about that. Ooh, we're getting some good dodges here. Let's go with a repost here. We just need to get rid of that stress. That stress is really high. Take care of you. Um, let's do some stress relief and healing here. Stress relief here. We're going to have to take some damage in order to get rid of all this. Take care of you. Right. Hmm. Let's do this. Heal you for 12. Get you basically all the way filled up. Then we use one of them on you. You stress heal yourself by a lot. And you're basically in a good position now. And now you, we heal that blight. That's such a good combination. Such a good combination. I heal everyone. Probably only got one more round before we uh, have to come back around again. So, do this. And we'll kill him on this next turn here. But that's put everyone in a better position there. Basically got rid of all that stress. Nah, damn it. There we go. Okay, good, good, good. Happy about that. Still two things we can't take here. Uh, we'll throw away that and that. 
Right. Um, we don't have any herbs. We literally just threw those away. That's annoying. Uh, right. Apart from the stress that we have on our um, Amaris Mitre here, we're looking pretty good. We're looking pretty good. Right, so. Stun resist is 25, 10. Let's go with you. Oh, no. Leo, you can't be missing as much as you're missing right now. It is, an, it is a ridiculous amount that he's missing right now. Um, let's set up a repost straight away. For you, let's just try and take this little thing out. This thing's so annoying. And take some more stress on, of course. Ooh, and some more stress, of course. Why wouldn't we take some more stress? Ooh, just a little bit more hits on... Oh, my good golly gosh. Why? Why? The last battle, everything goes so wrong. So wrong. Stop it. Get some help. Oh, my God. Look at that stress. We were doing so well. We were fending it off. We were below 50. And it's like, here's a crit. Here's a stress. Here's a crit, here's a stress, crit, stress, crit, stress. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm a bit upset here, but we're gonna have to we're gonna have to take some time and do some healing. Okay, let's um heal you up for a good, good, good. Hopefully. Stress resistant. Uh, oh Leo! Leo. Leo's really, really just... She's not doing well today at all. He is only level zero, so that is probably why. But still, Leo. And also, he's got like 16 diseases right now. Um, and then let's cleanse you for a big heal as well. Uh, and let's set up repurse still. Keep everyone else happy at least. Finish you off. Leo. Leo. Could you please hit something, Leo? Could you hit just one little thing? Look at this. Three diseases. So that one I don't really care about. That one's, that one's fine. Plus five dodge. When he's below 50% HP, he got minus 15 stress and plus 15 um, stress healing. When he's above, he gets extra stress. That's not too bad either. And that one's not too bad. They're, they're all fine, honestly, considering how many he's taken on. That's actually fine as well. That might be why he's getting so stressed, but so many resists on him is great. Right, take you out. 11, so close. Nice dodge there, Rune. Oh, big, big crit. Big crit. 25% healing skills. Nice. Ow. Um, do this. Get rid of that stress. Get rid of you. I need to kill this guy really quickly. Oh, and that's a good way to do it. Just absolutely demolish him. Thank you. Uh, yeah, let's get that. Oh my god. You critted. I didn't expect that. I was hoping to do some healing there, but I guess not. Um... Do you remember what the burn idol thing did last time? I don't think we need to use it, do we? There you go. So, a bit too much stress there um, on a few people. But all in all, that was a very, very good venture. A very good venture indeed. Very happy about that. And we got Grappler, which is great. Um, and Weapon Tinker, which is also pretty good. Okay, I'm very happy with how that went in total. I think, um, oh, here's, that, here's some of our new ones. So we'll, we'll maybe have a look at taking those, but we'll, let's let's see who else we've got first. So first of all, we still can't afford this, so we're only going to be able to take two. So we've got Claimant's Librarian. Well, librarian's in, in, interesting. You can basically get extra levels, extra resolve. But she isn't too useful at level zero. That's the only thing. We might want to wait for a better one to come in. So we'll take the, uh, the claimants. We'll take them on. Um, and we'll also take on Fury. Fury looks decent. Maybe we'll take on Fury. Or should we just take on... Do you know what? We'll just take on the one for now. We'll leave the rest. I don't know though. Should we take Fury? No. No. I, I, I'll, I'll abstain. And we'll just take on the one for now. Uh, in the claimants. 
and um, we'll because we've only got one slot, we'll save the next one for next week, so we're not bringing in too many people too quickly and overwhelming ourselves. Um, I've knew that's pretty damn good. That right, so let's have a look. I think I think Amaris, we probably need to do some stress healing. Um, we'll probably put her in here in the penance hall. There you go. And everyone else is looking pretty fine. Some people are a little stressed, but for the most part, people are doing well. Rune is almost leveled up as well. I haven't got anyone to level 2 yet, but we're getting close with a few. Rune has been out on the Merse adventures. Urku and Aurora have been out on an extra adventure too. Um, but I think everyone's doing pretty well so far. We've been having some pretty good success. I think this episode, we're just going to leave it on the medium adventure because we're getting on for 40 minutes now. I don't want to drag out the episode's too long uh but maybe what we'll do here is we'll spend some money looking at some upgrades for people so urku has been doing great for us so let's upgrade urku a bit um mainly we want to be upgrading that and um trample and we want to put him in we don't want to go any lower than about six thousand. so look red we still haven't used red too much we're not going to upgrade her too much yet sabrina's the same Aaron, we've been using a, a pretty good amount here, so let's uh, let's upgrade Aaron, shall we? Um, especially we want to be upgrading this and his healing hand and this. We haven't really used this at all. Uh, Maggie, maybe. Let's have a look. Who's down here that we could upgrade that we haven't already? Uh, Mary definitely needs upgrading. Mary's going to be very valuable for us. And in fact, I think I might change over some of Mary's abilities. Um, so, let's get rid of this here and activate this. Spend all of our money here on Mary. Get her upgraded and make sure we take off that ability and put that one on. Because that's a party heal and I really like party heals. Um, and I think that's going to be a good place to leave it for upgrades for now. But either way, I hope you guys have enjoyed this. If you do want to leave any more backstories, please make sure to let me know in the comments and join the Discord and I can get you set up with that and we can start writing your own backstories from these characters. Either way, I hope you guys have been enjoying. If you do have any tips for Darkest Dungeon in general, let me know um, any way I can better help these guys and make sure they stay alive. Any tips you've got for the game, please do let me know. But yes, I will see you guys in the next one.